All right, got something I want to show you guys. This is actually a little montage of Joe Biden displaying symptoms of dementia. They have a doctor who is listing out symptoms of dementia and then uh, clips slash in with Joe Biden displaying those symptoms. Now this, this video in question, the clip of the video is actually taken out of a, out of a video by Paul Joseph Watson entitled, uh, called There's Something Wrong With Biden. That's what the video is called, just to give credit where I got this clip from. But what it has is it has clips from a video by a doctor actually addressing the question back in 2020, does Joe Biden have dementia? And in the video, in the full video, he says no, but he gives a bunch of symptoms and the clips are showing that him, just, Joe Biden is playing those exact same symptoms that he lists off. So if I sound a bit, you know, slurred in my speech, I have a really big canker sore on this side of my lip and it hurts whenever I talk because the, te the teeth move against the sore, triggering it. So just bear with me on that. Uh, anyway, let's get into the whole thing. So here's actually the little montage of Biden displaying those symptoms. Watch this. Memory problems really stand out, especially short-term recall. And we're also joined today by uh, uh, Larson and, uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> I know. Have you decided, you decided, sir, whether to go to Saudi Arabia? No, not yet. No, no. So, it happens to be a larger meeting taking place in Saudi Arabia. That's the reason I'm going. It's that short-term recall that is much more noticeable in terms of looking at symptoms that point to dementia. And the president, uh, and, and, and the president uh, of South Africa, as, 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 I, as I said earlier. Well, you did. I, I did not. I did not. I, I, I certainly did. Uh, so. <laughs> Next, we see difficulty concentrating, losing track of the topic. You uh, um, like to be able to... Anyway. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the, foot, uh, foot, foot, excuse me, in the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. Well, look. <laughs> Getting lost when outside the house. Sometimes people also get lost in their own house. This is considered a more severe symptom. I get up in the morning and look at Jill and say, where the hell are we? Getting lost. That's the President of the United States in his own house. Sometimes people also get lost in their own house. Other symptoms include going off on tangents, being repetitious, having difficulty finding the right word. All men and women created by the, go, you know the, you know the thing. The administration, the administration I served in last. He forgot Barack Obama's name. We have a conversion of the road to Damascus. Because now you say, by the way, are you going to stick with the president on the following president? The last guy on this issue? He's saying that it was President, my boss. Confabulation. This is when somebody has gaps in their memory and their brain populates memories into those gaps. Now, these memories are from other events. So the stories that they tell don't make any sense. I was doing Villanova's commencement and one of my nuns from school was getting her doctorate degree. I presented it to her and she said, that was pretty good, Joe. The president didn't make a commencement speech. <laughs> no, but you know, let me just talk for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, the, I'm a professor. So confabulation is considered a fairly severe symptom. Getting a lot of reaction after saying he used to drive an 18-wheeler. Hmm. During a visit to a Mack truck assembly plant yesterday, while well, the White House is struggling to defend the claim since driving a big rig requires a special license for one, and while well, there is nothing in Biden's history to suggest he's ever actually done this. We also see difficulties with agitation, anxiety, paranoia. Fewer, not more, fewer. What the hell, what do you do all the time? So when did I 
I said it was confident. You I said, said it. The next six I said. Read what I said and tell me. Read the polls, Jack. You guys are all the same. You lost your child. You lost your child. He's gone. And some people still think he's actually fit for office, although most don't. Even most of the Democrat Party is turning against him as well. And even the media, even CNN, this stuff has done stuff against Biden as well. So it's kind of funny. But here, here is, a, is a quick little article on mayoclinic.org. It lists the symptoms of dementia and it lists the cognitive changes as memory loss, which is usually noticed by somebody else, difficulty communicating or finding words, difficulty with visual and spatial abilities, such as getting lost while driving, difficulty reasoning or problem solving, difficulty handling complex tasks, difficulty with planning and organizing, difficulty with coordination and motor functions, confusion and disorientation. And we've seen that with Joe Biden quite a lot. He's displaying, uh, as those symptoms listed by the doctor, all those signs of dementia. So it's perfectly logical to say that Joe Biden has been developing dementia because dementia, what it is, is that and I, I had, you know, at least two people in my family that I know of that I spent personal time with have had dementia. All right, sorry, there had a bit of a weird camera malfunction there. But like I was saying, I was going to say that I've had two people in my family that I, I've known and spent time with personally that have had dementia. And what dementia is, is that it's a progressive type of, of illness, I guess you could say, or a progressive type of, of disorder. It will progress over time and get worse over time. And there are things you can do, like with most progressive illnesses, there are things you can do that will either slow down the spread or speed up the spread. And with Joe Biden, because you'll notice that he was displaying this stuff before he became president. But after he became president, we see the stuff just becoming more and more common. These little senior senior moments, some would call, have been becoming more and more common, it, almost like a daily thing now, pretty much. And why? Well, because the high stress job of, of being a president is only uh, making is only uh, speeding up the spread of the dementia. Hey, that's simple. And by the way, I've had I've had almost a decade of experience uh, with two people with dementia. So I, I I know what it's like to live and, and know somebody with dementia, and I can spot it a mile away when someone is developing it because I've I've had over almost a decade of experience living and helping with two people who have had dementia in my own family. So anyway, wanted to point that out. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.